In version 11, we've added a number of features to graphs to help make them easier to use, uh, especially if you're using swept variables. This graph you see before you is for a filter. It's showing you S11 and S21, uh, and we're sweeping a stub length in this filter. And you get the typical problem of several traces, which are difficult to distinguish. Uh, each trace is using a different stub length, and you see all of these lengths listed here on the right. Unfortunately, it's, it's very hard to tell which trace is which. One of the first simple things that we've done is if you now hover over a trace, uh, besides getting the x and y values of that point, you'll notice it uh, gives us the swept value of the parameter. In this case, L1, the length of the stub, is equal to 1. Another thing we've done in graphing is if you come over to the legend of the graph where my cursor is, right-click on a measurement, there are several things that you can do now directly from the legend. We, for example, can toggle enable a measurement. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on. Another thing that we can do is we can go to that measurement, modify trace properties, and it takes us to the appropriate menu immediately for that trace. I'm going to go ahead and change the traces to the same color to demonstrate another new property we have, which is stepped uh, colors for trace values. I'm holding down the shift key here so that I can select both traces. I go over to the Step Color button and select it, and I hit Apply. And notice that I am now getting rainbow colors for the various values of the swept parameter. And the color is the same for the S11 and the S21 for a given parameter, so you can see how they correlate.